we stand upon a dot and within the parameters of that dot that we call life all is determined what is life if eternity is failed within a dot on the map of unending time. These last days of the liturgical year place us before our reality. The readings are very rich and they bear meditation at length. The enemy of the soul just wants more souls for his kingdom and he will find ways of making sure that this one issue that counts is cancelled from the horizon, not thought about and even belittled, poked fun at, should it ever be taken seriously. The readings remind us that actually in the beyond, the great ones of this world are not always as great as they imagined. Some of our funerals seem to be beatifications, and it is presumed that whoever is in the coffin is already looking down upon us from a better place. We would do well to remind ourselves that we are not the judge. A certain humility, therefore, would be more correct before the mystery of the beyond. And those who have had experiences of encounters with the beyond, for instance, in having souls come back for help, will agree that there it's deadly serious. And people that we thought to be rockets for glory have to start practically at zero in purgatory all over again. Much limelight can actually be dangerous. I'll never forget being deeply moved in Florence reading the life of the by now canonized Marie de Jesus Crucifier, the stigmatized Carmelite. who lived in the Lord's own holy land. How she knew what happened to souls when they died, and there were many surprises. But she knew that a simple hidden Carmelite had been much rewarded very quickly by the Lord who sees the heart for she had been a soul, yes, of charity and had never caused pain, but only warmth. That we can do. It does not draw limelight, but it gives off heat. If we do many things for the Lord, but give off pain, there is something wrong. And in houses where the Lord is being served, and that service is not done in peace and warmth, the Lord is not yet Lord. We are. These last days of the liturgical air are an invitation for us to look inside and indeed around 
to ask ourselves the question, am I ready? If not, why not? Will I live this day as though it were my last and concentrate on what the Lord is asking of me? A new commandment on which he insisted with great insistence before going to the cross. By this men shall know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, 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 oh,